Hey guys, Georgia Soundtracks. This week we're going to talk a little bit more about our Blue Nami Blue 4408 that we've just started shipping to retailers. We're going to show you this in this great USA Trains GP38-2 and we're going to show you exactly what we mean when it says it works on DC. So let's get started. Now, when we've talked about our Blue Nami, remember in times we've talked about that the decoder works on DCC track power. Well, today, we're not going to use DCC track power. This is the normal power cab that I have, but you'll notice it's not plugged in because we don't need it today. We're going to use this USA Trains 10 amp DC power supply that you might find a lot of large scalers using today. Now, with this 10 amp power supply, this supplies DC power to the rails. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to turn it on. Then we're going to connect to our decoder via the app on our Bluetooth Blue Nami connection. And then we're going to run our train on our DC layout using the Bluetooth connection. Now that we've talked about it, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the power supply here. So you can hear the fans kicking up. Now it's going to take a second for the power supply to get out. We're going to turn the power supply up. And then lo and behold, there's our UP2045 with this simple connect button. So we're gonna go ahead and click the connect button. Now, now our decoder's connected. We have our Bluetooth thumbs up, says we're connected. And we're gonna to go to standard. Now you're gonna recognize the introduction. This is the first time today we've connected to the app. So it's gonna read all CVs to quickly check. Then it blows the horn to let you know it's done reading all CVs. So now we have all of our functions right here. Now again, we have our side menu. So we're gonna go ahead and RPM plus to go ahead and get that prime mover started. Now while our locomotive is starting, we can turn on our bell. Short horn. Now our locomotive is running, so we're going to go ahead and move in the forward direction. We're going to go ahead and move forward. And you can see that we're doing this with this power supply, which is DC. Let's talk with the locomotive off. Now you can see we're doing this with a DC power supply, simply running the track power. Now the track power is being used by the decoder on board strictly for that, for power. Our commands are coming wirelessly through the Bluetooth app. And again, now we're muted. We can change directions and we can start moving. All of our locomotive is muted. We can unmute. And you can see we have full control of our locomotive using the app. And again, using our DC power supply. Now everything you need is involved with the power supply. So we can simply connect, run our train, and you guys that have held out going DCC, you guys just hit the jackpot because your analog track power will work just fine. For you DCC guys, now you've also hit the jackpot because you get the added benefit now of being able to control your locomotive wirelessly, either through an iPad or an iPhone. Androids are coming, so be patient. But you can control all of these features wirelessly through the decoder. So for those of you guys who are interested in the Blue Nami, you can purchase these decoders today. And if you are an Android user, nothing's going to change on the decoder. So all you have to do is to get your decoder, do it in installation, and everything will be ready for you to go once the Android version of the app drops. Now many of you regular watchers have recognized this locomotive. Now we've done an installation video using this USA Trains GP38-2 in the video you can see here. Or did they put it over here? Either way, check the link in the description below. But we did, what we did with this model is we actually took the body shell apart and simply did a wire for wire conversion. We did the upgrade and took the TSU 4400 out. We plugged in or wired in our blue 4408. Now, one other thing to point out, this does have eight functions. So now you can light up more lights than we even did in our previous version doing this installation. So you can go crazy, add any lights you like inside your model. 
Now, for more information, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com. Be sure to check out the user's guides for the Blue Nami and download the app if you're an Apple user and just take a look and see what you can see. We've done videos before on how to do all the settings and everything. Today, we're just showing you in a large-scale diesel. Also, keep in mind, you large scalers, you guys have a very big, exciting new product coming out here very soon from our friends over at Bachman. So yes, the Blue 4408 will work. Make sure you order the GE version. Now be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and like this video down below and please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you need to contact us, please call us at, at Soundtracks 970-259-0690 or you can send us an email to support at Soundtracks.com.